Welcome to Biography. I am Ethan Watts. After leading the Union forces to a victory in the Civil War, America looked to Ulysses S. Grant to become their next president. Although he was a great battle commander, Grant was not necessarily a good president. Ulysses S. Grant was born on April 27, 1822 in Point Pleasant, Ohio. He was the first child born to his parents, Jesse Root Grant and Hannah Simpson Grant. His name at birth was Hiram Ulysses Grant. His father was a leather tanner, but Ulysses hated working in his dad's leather shop. At age 8, he learned to drive a horse and buggy, and at 10, he drove to Cincinnati to pick up some passengers by himself. His father decided to send him to school at the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, New York. He was nominated to West Point by his local congressman, Thomas Hammer, who in error nominated him as Ulysses Simpson Grant. Hammer didn't know Grant's middle name and assumed it would be by his mother's maiden name. Once Ulysses discovered the mistake, it was too late. West Point said your name is Ulysses Simpson Grant and you wouldn't attend here otherwise unless you get your name changed. From then on, Hiram Ulysses Grant became known as Ulysses Simpson Grant or Ulysses S. Grant for short. At age 24, Grant served in the Mexican-American War as a quartermaster. During one battle, he saw his friend Fred Dent lying in the middle of the battlefield after being shot. Grant ran out into open fire to rescue Dent and was almost killed himself. Dent would go on to become Grant's brother-in-law when, at age 26, Ulysses Grant wed Julia Boggs Dent. The couple had four children, three boys, and one girl. President Abraham Lincoln appointed Grant Brigadier General of the Volunteers in 1861. Grant's fights in the Battle of Belmont where his Union soldiers had to retreat but gain much needed fighting experience. After five months of intense battle, his men gained huge success and popularity with the surrender of Vicksburg. This is probably known as Grant's greatest military win. On April 9, 1865, Robert E. Lee of the Confederate Army surrendered to Grant in Appomattox, Virginia. The U.S. government established a new rank of general and made Grant the first four-star general in U.S. history since Washington. In 1868, Grant receives the Republican nomination for president. His campaign slogan was, Let us all have peace. He received 214 of the 294 electoral votes and became the 18th president of the United States of America. As president, Grant was concerned with the treatment of African Americans and Native Americans. He worked to advance both civil and human rights. He helped pass the 15th Amendment, which gave all citizens the right to vote, and the Ku Klux Klan Act, which gave the president power to break up and prosecute those members participating in hate crimes against blacks. One of Grant's downfalls was his inability or unwillingness to find fault in his own staff. He made his military friends and large campaign contributors members of his cabinet, and this led to opportunity for corruption in his government. While Grant himself was not involved in these scandals and did not receive money from these shady deals, he was reluctant to believe his friends would be involved in these criminal activities. He refused to take any direct action against his friends and did not respond after their guilt was established. In 1877, after serving two terms as U.S. President, Ulysses S. Grant spent two years traveling the world with his wife, Julia. In 1881, the Grants purchased a home in New York City and invested all their money in a banking partnership with Fernand Ward. Ward was a corrupt man who swindled Grant's money, bankrupted the company, and fled. About this same time, Grant was diagnosed with throat cancer. The cancer spread, making Grant feeble. On his deathbed, Grant worked hard to record his life history. On July 19, 1885, Grant finishes his memoirs, which sells 300,000 copies. This earns his wife a whopping 500,000 and thus provides for his family, even after his death. He died on July 23, 1885, four days after finishing his foot. Throughout his life, Lucius S. Grant was known as many things. A good husband and father, a warrior known for his bravery on the battlefield the first four-star general in the U.S. military, the president who fought for the rights of African Americans and Native Americans, and a loyal friend, so loyal perhaps that he could not see the apparent faults and crimes of his close friends and cabinet members. This concludes our look for our 18th president, Ulysses S. Grimm. Join us next for next episode, a study of Grover Cleveland, the 22nd and 24th president. 
Voorwaardig vind ik, I mean, what?